Hi, this is John Isles, and welcome to Geometer's Paradise. This is the third part of the first uh, lesson uh, on interior and exterior angle sums in convex and regular polygons. Uh, we are covering QP3. This actually should say convex and regular polygons. QP3, uh, Indiana Standard QP3 on the interior and angle, interior and exterior angle sum theorems. Um, and uh, all right, so here we go. Uh, this lesson is going to switch back and forth between presentation mode and actually PowerPoint's editor mode a couple of times. Um, so uh, please forgive that if it's disorienting or at all. Um, it's going to help with the, uh, the video itself. All right, so let's begin uh, by discussing the exterior angles of a polygon. Um, there are two ways to form exterior angles and one way is to extend all the sides clockwise. So uh, that would be extending it off to the right as we move clockwise around the polygon. We can create three exterior angles. Uh, one, two, and three. Um, you can also do this counterclockwise. Counterclockwise would uh, involve extending the sides out this way. All right. I always think I always thought that this looks like a pinwheel. Um, the idea here is that um, everything is kind of circular. Okay, you kind of see how each one kind of feeds into the other one, and it's circular. This is the exterior angles of a polygon. You need to make sure you wind it either clockwise or counterclockwise. You want to be careful not to do something like this. Uh, where you extend this way and then you extend this way and then suddenly you do something crazy and you extend this way. Okay, these two are, are wound um, clockwise. But this one is actually wound counterclockwise. And that's not going to work. Okay, so you can't wind them uh, in opposite directions. Don't do it. All right, so how does the exterior angle sum work? What you see here is three exterior angles of the polygon that have been kind of peeled off of the shape. Um, I need to back that up. Okay, let's see if I can, uh, I don't think I have just an editor tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and press escape here. Uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each of these and I'm gonna peel it off. So this one, comes from the top, okay, and then I'm going to peel one off over here, and look what I'm going to do, I'm going to line these up. So if I have removed the exterior angles and I line them up, notice how they appear to form a circle, the pieces of a pie, okay. This, sh this should tell you something, right? Uh, when we look at this shape, uh, you should be seeing um, a, uh, a circular kind of deal. Alright, you've got a total of 360 degrees here. So if I were to add these three angles up, it does appear to be 360 degrees. We can actually uh, provide evidence for this um, and that's what we're going to look at next. So here's a crazy algebra proof um, of this idea that the exterior angles are going to sum to uh, 360 degrees. So, x plus y plus z. Um, what are some values? What is x? Okay, x plus a is equal to 180, which means that x is equal to 180 minus a. Okay, um, and uh, y is going to be 180 minus b. And z is going to be 180 minus c. Okay. So I'm going to remove these parentheses. I've got 180 plus 180 plus 180 minus A minus B minus C. 180 plus 180 plus 180 is 540 minus. Now I'm going to, I'm going to factor a minus 1 out of each of these. That leaves me with A plus B plus C. Right? Well, A plus B plus C is tasty. It's 180 degrees. So we end up with 540 minus 180 
which is 360. And there we see that the three exterior angles of the triangle add up to 360 degrees. Boom, mind blown. This is you, okay, and, and this is your brain splattered in like a thousand directions by that mind explosion. You're welcome. All right, so let's verify that the exterior angle sum of this pentagon is 360 degrees. Well, check this out. This one's a little more complex. I didn't have it prepped ahead of time. Uh, let's uh, uh, create an exterior angle here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm just kind of peeling off clockwise the exterior angles of my polygon. See how they form here? Ooh, this one I gotta be careful. There we are, almost did that backwards. Now, I'm gonna take each exterior angle and I'm just gonna peel it off. I'm gonna group them over here. What you see is that we are starting to form that circular shape again. In fact, they're all going to fit. I can remove the exterior angles of a pentagon and I can get 360 degrees just like I did when I removed the exterior angles of a triangle. So it works for the pentagon. It's going to work for the quadrilateral, the hexagon, the octagon, nonagon, the whole, the, every single uh, uh, convex shape can be peeled off and then they fit together like this in a circle. We find out then that the exterior angle sum for any shape is 360 degrees. So it's 360 degrees around the outside if I add up all the angles. So what I do for something like this is I just have to take each term and add them up. So I'm going to do the x's. 10x plus 6x is 16x plus 14x. So 16 plus 14 is 30x plus 12. That's 42x's. And then I got 8 plus 50 is 58 plus 46. So 46 and 58 is going to be 104. Okay, plus 4 is 108. So 42x, don't quote me on that. I, I, I didn't use my calculator. Uh, this is going to be 252. So x is equal to, hopefully this is right. If it's not right, then, you know, whatever. 6. Yeah, that, that, that seems right. I try to make these even. All right, so there you go. Add up the angles equal to 360 degrees. All right, in review, we have the interior angle sum formula, which is n minus 2 times 180. The single angle sum for regular polygons, which is uh, the interior angle sum divided by the number of sides. The number of sides, which is n times the, this theta should probably be SAM. That's, that's confusing. I'm going to, no, that's SAM. Equals n minus 2 times 180. Remember, that's IAS. So n times SAM equals one, uh, IAS. And EAS for everything is 360 degrees. All right, there you go.